What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about the pistol magazine pouches. They're called the Direct Action uh, Magazine Pouches by Orca Arms. These are definitely something that uh, I came across probably about eh, six months ago or so. I've been running it on uh, this uh, kind of recon rig. I've, this is the Tactical Tailor one that I made a video about a little while ago talking about my setup and such. But this is the pistol uh, pouch magazine magazine pouch that I have on here and uh, there's definitely a reason for it and we're going to talk about the interesting way this is made. Uh, I'm usually a uh, HSGI kind of person as far as uh, the pouches go but I'm looking in different directions and seeing what uh, you know is out there as far as you know differences because you know if you get stuck in one way so to speak or one you know piece of gear you can actually have some uh, really cool pieces of gear kind of pass you by and I think this is definitely this Orca Arms uh, direct action uh, pouch uh, for, mag for pistol magazines is definitely one of those and uh, so let's talk about why I think that. So here looking at this, this is uh, actually a pretty simple design. There's not much to it as far as, uh, you know, I guess the looks of it, but there's a lot to it uh, in the background of it. Um, a lot of uh, magazine pouches don't have drainage holes. Uh, the way this is constructed, and I'll take this off of uh, the rig and kind of give you a 360 a little bit later. But uh, as far as this goes, you can see here that this is, uh, you know, open on the sides here. It's kind of a, uh, an interesting design, if you will. Now what this has on it is actually called PV material. Um, and that's actually a mixture between uh, Kevlar laminate material. Um, it's actually kind of up to, you know, seven times stronger than just using like uh, 500D Cordura. So in my opinion, you know, just looking at this, uh, I haven't talked to them about it, but you can see here that this material on the front, which is uh, kind of covering the front and the, and the bottom here, is different than what's behind it, if you will, okay? And the reason that is because this material is different than the material behind it. Um, and that's just because of the abrasion. This is where the majority of the abrasion is going to come from on the bottom and on the front. Um, you're not going to have much on the sides. As you can see, you know, this is squished next to uh, the multi-tool pouch that I have there. So that's kind of what they're going with there. The th retention system is really cool. It's actually uh, just bungee. Uh, it's just bungee on the top here. And the cool thing is this is double stack and uh, single stack, uh, stackable if you will. And that's the one thing that really turned me on to this because you know, when you look at the HSGI, the thing that has going for it is the fact that you can use a zillion different magazines with uh, these taco pouches. You can actually do that with this magazine pouch is you can use you know, the double uh, stack. You can even go single stack with 45. Uh, you just gotta tighten up the bungee. So, I mean, it works perfectly fine. There's no problems there. You can do it either way. Doesn't matter which way you put it in. Uh, you have to get it set up first, of course. Um, but you know, once you get it into the way you want it, I probably had it too tight. You know, once you get it into the way you want it, you know, it's really simple to uh, to use. Uh, the bungee system here is good. You can really tighten it down really far. You can have it, um, you know, tightened really loose, really uh, tight, you know, whichever way you want to go there. As far as pricing goes, you know, these right here, uh, for a single, you're looking at 20. For a, uh, a double uh, pistol mag pouch, uh, you're looking at 28. So that's the other cool thing I thought that uh, Orc Arms is doing is they're not really raising the price if you're gonna go with a double. You're gonna spend about $8 more, which really uh, on the back end is not a ton of money. So if you're gonna buy a single ones, they're gonna be 20. If you're gonna buy doubles, they're gonna be 28. So they're really competitive as far as, as far as pricing goes, I think on the market, because when you look at stuff like the HSGI tacos, you know, they're, they're pretty pricey. So, you know, looking for something alternative on the market, yet still made in USA, still made really well. You look at the stitching on this, exceptional. You can see down here the stitching goes across, the stitching goes across here. Then they also have a, uh, an angle stitch to uh, keep that down as well. Same thing up here, it's bar tacked in all the right places. And you know, I mean, it's really built extremely well, yet lightweight, which, uh, which is what led me to it. You know, and it's very simple. Um, magazine in, magazine out. You know, a lot of these, uh, some of these other ones on the market aren't as, uh, as easy as that. To, uh, to use amazingly. You know, you have the, the Velcro, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, you have the bungee over top, which again, not a huge fan of the bungee over top. I have tons of issues when I run that with the AK rifle mags. Um, you have the, um, the open tops, like the tacos, like these, like the, the Kiwis with uh, S-Tac, uh, which, which are all great, you know, but this is definitely an alternative, especially for the, uh, for the price. So let me go ahead and take this off of here and uh, we'll get a closer look. So as you can see, taking it off here, uh, you have this uh, tab on the back. So you're gonna run it through your, uh, your PALS webbing and on the back here, this is gonna hold it. This is the retainer, if you will, it's a little tab. So it's definitely not gonna go anywhere. And uh, to get that back in, you just wanna kind of push, um, push that back through there, and it'll come off uh, with ease. All right, so here we go. Here's a close-up look of it. You can 
see that uh, it's definitely you know made well. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, the stitching here. You can see that's done extremely well. Definitely care taken into it. They're made to uh, to be used and uh, and abused, if you will. You can see here is where um, you're gonna have the bungee come through on uh, both sides here. You can see the stitching goes you know all the way down it, and uh, again, really well done. Now the bungee here, um, you know, extremely easy. Uh, if you're looking to uh, take it in and out, say the bungee gets old, uh, it gets worn out, which is going to happen. This is definitely a uh, a high use um, part, if you will. Uh, what you're going to see is this is extremely easy to just put the put another bungee in there. So if you didn't want this much bungee, um, if you want less bungee, if you want more bungee, you know, you find something else you want to put in there, um, you can change out the bungee uh, relatively easily, if you will. So there's a lot of adaptability of this um, when you when you bring this down through. I'll show you on the back end here how this works. You just come down here. And then that's how it's gonna stay into your plate carrier. So it's not going anywhere because this is actually, uh, it feels as though there's a, something in here where this is like triple layered. So this is definitely a nice hard uh, piece and it's not gonna go anywhere. So when you look at the actual magazines, uh, you can you know use double stack, okay? It just come out nice and easy. Um, use your double stack. Now with double stack, you're gonna wanna tension this down uh, just to keep it you know in there. Um, I probably want mine around there. So, you know, it's definitely not gonna go anywhere. It does come out a little bit because I didn't tension it down enough. Um, so you can see, you know, it takes a lot to get it out of there. Um, you're gonna have the same thing with HSGI Taco. You can see you can adjust it out, um, but still it comes right out, okay? So you can see that, uh, you know, there's no problems with that. Uh, same thing with the double stack. You know, you put those in here. You can either use them like this, or they're gonna come out a little bit, you know, or you can go ahead and tension it down a little bit. It's gonna be in there tighter, but still comes out nice and easy. So you can see that the uh, the draw on them is uh, is relatively easy. Now the one thing with uh, some manufacturers out there, and uh, you know the Mayflower Gen 5 uh, chest rig that I have, I had the same problem with. I had a, a bigger problem though with that because it's a little bit tighter. This one you can adjust out um, to, to your liking. But with that one, uh, and this one, this happens every once in a while, not all the time, but it's definitely something that could be redesigned, is if you look in this area right here, uh, you can see that lip right there, okay? You can see that lip of material right here, okay? And what happens is, is when you come to draw, if you don't draw it straight out, what'll happen is, is this will come up and get caught, okay? And what happens is, ultimately, it gets caught on, on that little material right there. It doesn't happen as much here because the lip's very small, um, but on the Mayflower Gen 5 chest rig, um, I really have that problem a lot. Um, I really haven't noticed that problem with uh, with this one. Not sure why. You can see there's some material here that's being kind of pulled up from that. Um, yeah, you got to go in there and cut that out because that right there is going to be a problem <laughs> if you uh, you bring your your pistol mag up here and it gets caught. But ultimately, you know this uh, this right here, that little hem, if you will. Um, should either be on the outside um, or it should be you know covered up from from some way or another but it really hasn't been a problem for me so I can't say it's a problem but it definitely is a potential problem um, and in a stressful situation you know that could lead to a few seconds of panic um, and possibly death and like I said I see that on a lot of uh, pouches in the industry and it's one reason why you have HSGI that'll put the uh, the, the Kydex or plastic down the sides because then it'll give you a complete, you know, slide uh, draw, if you will. Uh, one way they could you know, fix that is uh, just take a strip of material uh, straight down the side here, down both sides, and then come out in the in outside here and uh, and uh, sew it down, if you will. So you'd have a continuous um, pull of material. You wouldn't have this hem right here. Uh, this right here isn't going to be a problem. But on these on these edges here is where you're gonna have a problem because that's where the uh, bullets are. So if you like I said, if you started at the bottom, went to the top, and then you rolled that over the edge and and sewed that down, you'd have a continuous uh, you know run of material, and you wouldn't have that problem. So that's just one really quick and easy way to uh, to remedy that possibly. Again, you can see on the bottom here. You have uh, the drain holes, which are inherent in here because of the design, which is just a fold over design. You have this harder core material which is uh, like a Kevlar material, if you will. And uh, this is a, a lightweight uh, Cordura. But because it's just folded over, it's not 
on the edges here sewn, uh, you kind of have a, an inherent uh, drain hole, if you will, which I like that design. So if you guys are looking for a really good, you know, American made and, and rough, you know, I haven't had any problems with abrasion or anything like that as far as, you know, these, these hold up really well. Um, and uh, I really like them a lot just because they're, uh, they're different, they're lightweight and uh, th they work, you know, direct action, direct action. <laughs> they, uh, they're gonna give you direct action, if that makes any sense. But uh, yeah, so there, here's these uh, direct action pouches from uh, Orca Arms. Uh, check them out, I'll put the link down below to where you can uh, take a look at them. They have a lot of other stuff on their website too and uh, they make belts and stuff and I'm testing out one of their belts now and I'll uh, get a review out on that when, uh, when I get done with that. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know. If you have uh, any comments or, or questions uh, or uh, anything like that, put them down there in the comments section down below or better yet, make a video regarding it. And uh, until next time, later. I just wanna to talk to you today about the Orca Arms Direct Action Pistol Magazines. Wow, pistol magazine pouches, Jesus. <laughs>